Okay, guys, welcome back. This is the part three of my PyQt5 tutorial creating the GUI application that we called for Py News. Um, just to kind of go through what where we are at this stage. Up until now, we basically focused on the um, fundamentals on how to create a PyQt5 uh, application. We created the window, we created a few widgets, we also created the uh, toolbar and also a menu bar. We created a small method that will send an email to the developer. Um, and in this um, part, we are going to focus a bit more on uh, actually fetching the links, uh, scraping for the links, collecting the news and also displaying them in the within the window. Um, we will not take images in this part, we will take that in part number four. Uh, so for now let's just focus on getting the links. Uh, first of all we are going to need the variable here that will be the it will basically be the URL, the link that we will uh, fetch the links from. You need a place to start. Um, I chose one that is quite stable and uh, you should feel free to use whichever one you want. Um, I took this one, it's from Sky News, it's quite good. It's feeds.skynews.com slash feeds slash rss slash world.xml slash world xml and you see that there is no typos here because that will create those nasty errors later okay that looks quite good we are also going to create a new method that we will call for news display so we will just have to say it here first self news display and that will again take the variable url that will all became clear in a few seconds. So let's create it. So this news display. It will take for the parameter self and also the variable URL, which we just created or assigned up here. Once again, if you want to choose another URL, please feel free to do so. And let's get started. We, um, if you know any HTML, that would be great at this point. If not, just try to follow. I will explain everything as good as I can. So requests.get URL. This is basically just to open the URL so we can start scraping it. And then soup is going to be beautiful soup. And we will take their resp.content features. This is XML, so we will have to do this XML. And then we will say that items equals soup dot all. Nope, all. Not at all. It's going to. I was going to think. I was going to say all items, which actually is find all great find all item then we will create an empty list that we call news items equals empty list before we are going into the for loop here so for item in items and then we are going to create an empty dictionary which will then again place inside the empty list just to make it easy news item equals dict and then news item and then we will take or and assign the key so news item we will say description description that is equal to item dot description dot text this is a description text um, within the links 
it's under the title. This goes a bit more into depth about what what the article is about. Um, and then we will say news item, and we will take the pure link. This is just a pure link. We will need it at a later stage, and I will explain to you when we are getting it, why we are doing it like this. That equals item dot link dot text, and then it's the other key, and that's the bit harder one. We will say news item and this is the part where HTML knowledge will be handy. Um, I call this link at because that will be the link and the title because when we are displaying this, we don't want the image on top and then the link under. We want the title to be clickable. So we are going to hide the link underneath the title. So let's get started. So first, a href equals, and then backslash, and then plus item dot link dot text. This is the link, and then plus. So, and then plus again, item.title.text, and that will be the title. So here we are actually hiding the link under the title when we are displaying it, so it looks neat. Then we are going to end this with, the, and then close it, great, and then at the and here we are going to do news items dot append news item. So we are actually packing the dictionary within the uh, the list. So it's easy to get them out later when we need them. Uh, as I said, we're going to wait a bit with the with the images. We'll just create the links now and, see, and try to build that up so it looks neat on the window. So let's get going. We are going to create a lot of labels here to display the links within. Let's see, news items, that would be better. Go away. Perfect. So we will say that we will also have to do this within the method. So label say label one equals a Q label no surprises there and then we will go into the news items list and we will get the we will get the key and the dictionary from there so that will be zero since zero is always the first and we will use the key link get which is the link and title link at and then we will add actually we will add an extra tab there so it will be a bit of space in between and also we will take the description underneath the title to get a bit more information so news items zero since that is always the first and then we will take the description. Description. Typo in word description. 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 That's not a typo. Why are you saying that's a typo? No one knows. And now we are going to set a few extra stuff for this label. So we will say label one and we will say set open external links which means that the links will be clickable and we will say that to true and then we will do label one and we will say set word wrap set word wrap that means that everything will not be displayed in one line it will be several lines with text 
Um, it will not take up more space than what it should. We will also set that to true. And then we will also update the status bar. So label one dot set status tip. And there we will use the pure link. So news items. And once again, zero. And then the key will be pure link. So what we basically did here, we assigned uh, this queue label and we choose to give it the name, if you could call it that. We will take news items link at which we remember means link and title and then also the description so we'll get a neat neat neatly with title and description under we also did a bit extra stuff with it we set open external links to true which means the links or the title here in this case will be clickable we said word wrap to true which means everything will not be in one line it will be in several lines and also we update the statistic with the pure link key, which displays the actual uh, link you are entering so that the user can see that where the link leads to. I did cheat a bit here, so I will do this. Bang, what just happened? Um, we did the same thing, exactly the same thing here for label number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Because as I said, we will display nine stories. Um, put and pause, fill this in. Take my tip, do copy paste because it is a lot of typing. Um, so how to place this within the, win uh, within the window? We are going to use the grid system in PyQt, so we will say that G layout gangster layout equals Q grid layout parenthesis, and then we will say that G dot G dot lay not layout. Ugh, it's getting a bit late. I'm noticing. We will say G layout, which is the Q grid layout, and we'll do the add widget, and we will do label one and we will place it in zero and zero which means on the top in the left corner we are also going to copy paste a bit here just to save some time what just happened save some time as i said three on each line and nine in total and three times three is nine the last time I checked. So label two will be in zero one. Label three will be in zero two. Label four, there we go. Label four will be in one zero. Label five will be in one one. And label six will be in one two and they're actually going to be displayed just as i wrote them here so zero zero up here zero one here zero two there and so on and so on and so on so label seven is going to be displayed in two zero and then label eight will be two one and then as you might have guessed label nine will be in two two so we are getting really close now we will just have to add a few more lines here so layout widget equals to q widget and parenthesis then we will say layout widget dot set layout and we will say g layout and then we are just going to add one more line here which will set the central widget so we will do self dot set central widget and that will be the layout widget as you can see perfect it is a lot of text but it's a lot of the same stuff here so don't be frightened should we see if this works now i hope ah, i see an error here what is this 
XML is supposed to be a string. Perfect. Remove that one as well. Let's just take a quick look on how this is. I think this look quite good, I have to say. The only thing we will do now is we will actually copy this. Pass it in here. And then we will, of course, we will change the URL so it fits the window it is inside. Again, you can choose whichever URLs you need. I know these are quite stable. So I will keep stick with this. So for strange, it was a bit stupid to do that. I will say RSS, and then that will be strange.xml. And here it will be, instead of world here, this is the good thing about choosing links from the same place. It will be entertainment. Entertainment. That's a great entertainment. And then on economy, it is going to be RSS business, actually. B business, business, business. And then instead, here in the technology page, it will be technology. So basically what we done here now is that we inherit the, the news display method, but we change the URL. So the technology class or the technology window will now display technology news. So let's see if this works out somewhat what we are hoping it to be. Anytime now. Let's see if we get this famous error. Oh, it works, it works. As you can see here is the link and title where we hid the link within the title. And here we also have the description. It is beautifully placed where we want it. What happens if I click the link? It will take some time because I have really slow internet in this hotel, but it will get there. Oh. Um, Chrome is opening. This is fantastic. Ah, we will check that out when it opens. If I press economy, as you can see, there will be different news here. There will be economy news instead of the main news. If I push strange once more, there will be strangeness and tech will show technology news. And of course, Facebook is at number one there. And see if the links worked. Highly likely Guru Hacked UK Institute. Oof, that doesn't sound too good. Anyways, we I think this will be enough for this video. Uh, as always, if you have questions to anything we did in this tutorial part number three, please do not hesitate to ask them in the comment section down below. If you are appreciating what I'm trying to teach you here, then give me a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these videos in the future. Uh, in the next part, we are going to display the images as well, and that will be the last part. So uh, stay tuned 